Some people call fish brain food, and it turns out they're right. Serving my 70 approved poached trout with herb mustard sauce is one of the smartest things you can do, and it's very, very easy. We start by creating a poaching liquid with a little bit of water and about a cup and a half of white wine. The alcohol in the wine burns off while it's cooking, so there's no alcohol in the finished dish. A pinch of salt, a half cup of small onion already sliced, a few peppercorns, and two bay leaves crunched up for extra flavor, and this goes right on the stove. We're gonna bring that to a boil and then poach our trout. And we're gonna poach it in the pan flat like this and take it out flat like this so it'll lay flat on the plate. The poaching liquid is coming to a boil and as it does, I'm going to add the fish. Just slide the trout into the poaching liquid. You want the poaching liquid to cover the fish completely. Put the lid back on. It'll just take a few minutes. While the trout is poaching, I'm gonna make the mustard sauce with a little bit of light sour cream, adds calcium and flavor, and some Dijon mustard. I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh herb. Dill is perfect and classic for fish. And so is tarragon. Has this beautiful spindly look. Again, double it up, chop it fine. And finally, some lemon zest. Gives the sauce a bright flavor and a powerful chemical called limonene, a phytonutrient that's been shown to fight, actually kill cancer cells in the laboratory, leukemia cells. If you want your sauce thinner, you can just add a little wine to thin it out, just a touch, so it'll drizzle over the fish. And speaking of the fish, it should be just about done. Oh yeah, here it is. Careful, because the poaching liquid is hot. You take the spatula, you go underneath the fish, and place it right on top. Isn't that pretty? A little bed of paprika and some toasted barley pilaf with our herbed mustard sauce right on top, and just a sprig of flowering dill to top off this beautiful food as medicine dish. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Really good. For more easy, healthy recipes and tips, visit Dr. John LaPuma at chefmd.com.